Me and John have been together now for almost two years. I had four boys before I met him. The oldest is Darren, he's 10 years old. Matthew, who is eight. <laughs> Devin, who is six. <laughs> and Jared, who is five. <laughs> and welcome to the crazy house. Hey! He's the bully of the house. <laughs> He'll do anything he can to hurt his brothers. Can you shake my hand? No! Yes! <laughs> Dang, Papa, man! Stop here! I had to tap my hand, and I want right. to cry. This is hell! Matthew is a drama queen. Give me it! Give me it! No! 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 no. Jared is a mommy's boy. He made me like a little baby. I think it's because he's the youngest. I give in a lot to Jared. Devin's moods control this household. Daddy! He's a very angry kid. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> so much hostility. You know, I come home from work, the first thing I get to do is scream at the boys. Walk! You'll do it! You bang my car like that again, and I'll bang your hand. My four children do not respect me at all. It's pretty bad that I cannot walk out of the room for two minutes to deal with the other one without you two acting up. I, I just, I can't take it anymore. I've had it. He's so Move it to your room. Madness. It bothers me that she has to be treated like that, and it bothers me that I don't know how to change that. Put on your seatbelt. No. Shut your fucking mouth. Super Nanny, please come and help. I cannot deal with these boys anymore. Guys, this needs to stop right now, so I'm on my way. You guys are not getting the best out of your kids. They're not getting the best out of you. And it could be a lot happier. Because really, you don't know, do you, how good it could be, right, Lisa? Well, no. But it takes courage and the will to want to change because you believe that you deserve better. This is not just saying the boys need to change. This is about the way you guys change. Oh, I agree. I agree with you. I'm ready. When we sat down with Jill, uh, a lot of what she told us, you know, made a lot of sense. I think she was a little extreme with some of the stuff she said. But, you know, what she said was basically true. So are you ready to turn over a new leaf? This is not going to be easy, but it's going to be very rewarding. Are you ready? I want it to change, and I'm open for change. And if she can do it, then great. Then let's do it, then. My biggest priority when coming back is to really get Lisa to take charge and learn how to manage her kids without threatening to use John. First off, this family needed some rules, and fast. Come over here, because I want to show you something. Come over. No, no uh-oh. This is good. Can I come oh. over here, boys? Yeah. The rules. Number one, play nicely. Number two, no hurting. When Joe brought the uh, rule chart in, it shocked me that the boys sat there and wanted to hear it and wanted to know about it. If you make a decision to break those rules, there'll be consequences for that. And what discipline gets used in this house? Naughty corner. Gun corner. Exactly. Is that clear? Yeah, it's clear. Yeah, good. The rules are kind of annoying. That starts. Now. There's no doubt in my mind all of the boys will break the rules. Shortly after laying down the rules, Devin broke them and then he started kicking Mum. So I stepped in so that I could show her how to be assertive and take control. You will not hit your mother. Devin, you've been asked to go in the naughty corner because of your aggression towards Mummy when you've punched and you kicked her when you've got angry, and that is why you were told to come into the naughty corner. You're going to stay here for six minutes, OK? The naughty corner sucks! Devin was having none of it. I could tell that John wanted to step in so badly. 
But Lisa had to do this on her own without using John as intimidation. All right, where are you going? Where are you going? We're not we're fighting with him. Coming away. Well, I'm not somebody who sits back and watches it. Come here for a minute. Come here. What are you saying? I want to step in, but I'm not doing it. I'm standing back and watching. It's like it's tough. I want you to know that I know it's tough. Mm. But Lisa needs to do this. It's just, it's going to take me a little getting used to it. I know it is. I am not calling Every two seconds, I'm putting Devin in. Devin's running out. I was at my boiling point. Move him away. Move him away. Move away. Move away. Move away. I'm not fighting. Devin's still going bananas, kicking the dishwasher, breaks my screen door. And here I am being told, don't step in, sit back, sit back. Yeah, it made me very angry. You want me to let him throw everything in the yard in the pool? I'll put up with this as long as I can. Just bear with it, because he knows he's winding you up. Wait a minute, I can stop this. It's obviously not working. It was so important that Lisa was successful at this before John just totally lost his patience and butted in. Devon kept fighting, but Mum stuck with it. Then at last, after two hours, Devon calmed down and he stayed in that corner. All of today, Lisa's been making her mark, OK? Lisa has a backbone. It felt good when Joe said that, you know, I had a backbone and I was gaining control of my house. Devin, you got put in the corner because you did not mind and you did not listen. And you've continued to hit me and hurt me. Not only did Mum get him to stand in the corner, but she also got him to clean up the mess he made. But he still needed to give her an apology. Devin, that behaviour will not be tolerated anymore in this house. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. You owe me an apology and I want it. Sorry. I accept your apology. I think they understand now that it's not a game and I'm playing and that I'm gonna follow through.